as a young black man growing up, what is one thing that just pisses you off or that you wish that you could see change about the perception about young black men? That we're all thugs. Because I'll tell you right now, people look at me on the street like people who don't know Clippo, just regular people on the street. They look at me. Can you believe a couple of days ago, I was just walking with my mom and stuff. She was in front of me. We was in Edison, New Jersey. If people don't know Edison, New Jersey, that's one of the most racist towns in New Jersey. I was walking in the mall, and a white lady saw me. She went like this, held her purse. And I'm like, are you serious? And then you got other people, they look at me, they're like, oh, this guy's a thug. Police pull me over, they think I got, like, prize and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm from Harlem, I'm from the street. But at the same time, I made it out. I got an education. I'm about to get my college degree. So at the same time, I'm, I want to tell people that, you know, you could be from the hood, whatever. You could be from the projects, and you could still make it. You could still definitely, you know, get a master's, get a bachelor's, go to school. You could do what you want to do. You don't always have to be negative. You could always be positive, you know. People always look at, you know, a young black man, and they think automatically, this guy got a record. This guy... Got like 10 baby mothers, this guy is just crazy, he'll shoot you, stab you, snatch your pocketbook, stomp right. your face out, you know, right, some right, craziness, right. so. That's what's up. When I first heard your style, you know what I'm saying, you have, you have a very unique style, you know. Yes. Well, really, my style, like, one thing about my style, I don't want to sound like a New Yorker. If I could sound like a New Yorker, I could do that, like, that's, I could definitely do that. I could be the regular New Yorker, you know, but. As you can see right now, a lot of people from New York ain't really get to know. You got Fred Godson, um, Maino. You got a few people from New York that's really on right now, whatever. But as personally for me, like, I've always been about, like, you know, the South music, West Coast, Midwest. I've always been to different genres. And not only rap in general, like, today I was listening to dubstep. Um, I was into stuff like rock music, Metallica, you know, so I got different styles. So, like... With me, I, I tell people like this. I could do a song with Raycon one day, do a song with Taylor Swift the next day, do a song with Future the day after that, and do a song with, I don't know, Tyler Quali or Dead Press the day after that. So, like, I could really, I'm versatile, basically. That's how I describe myself. You had this one video, and, and, and I was a little hesitant to post it at first. It was something <laughs> about pussy or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, tell us about the concept behind that video. Well... The clean version of the song is called Her Body's Clean, but the dirty version is called Her Pussy's Clean. Now, that's just like, the song basically was just talking about a bad girl. The baddest, baddest girl you could think of. And a pussy stank. <laughs> nah, that's, oh, you're cool. Oh, oh. But imagine, <laughs> imagine you've seen the baddest chick in ever. And imagine that baddest chick has the worst disease, basically. Ooh, yeah. That's just as bad as a pussy stain. I, 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 put, I put it like this. If a lie was a person, it would be the most beautiful person in the world. Wow. So that's basically what the concept of the song was. You don't ever like, just look at somebody, judge them, say that, oh, this person clean, whatever. Like, look at the person. You know, just do what you got to do. Do your research, basically, because shorty in the video, like, I had, like, the sexiest girl in the video, like, her name is um, Jada Fair, whatever. She's a model. Uh, and um, she's from, actually from Russia, but she lives in California. We did the video in New Jersey. But basically, like, she was a really bad chick. But picture like this. Imagine you've seen a girl like her, and then you find out that girl has syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS, or anything. Something like that. So you, got, you always got to watch out. Always stay strapped. So that's the message I'm giving out to the people.